Welcome back to the family people, Ogano here and today I'm going to be uh, showcasing the supplies that I use. So right here I have like a set of Sakura Micron pens and right here this is just a, a ruler that I use and oh, this, I'll come this, I'll come back to that later. And here is a, a pencil that I use. You can use any, uh, this is just a, a good beginner set. This is what I use to like just start out making uh, comics and drawing etc but I'll have a link to the, the Sakura Micron set in the description I use uh, they usually range from 005 to 08 so 08 is like the strongest line and I use the uh, strongest line to create the uh, the panels for my comic you know so you know the strong stronger lines so it looks fatter yeah, zero eight is much more fatter compared to like the smaller, the smaller, uh, the smaller ones like zero zero five. Zero five would probably zero zero five and zero one would probably be used to uh, ink really small details, and these would be it right here. Okay. Yeah, the 005, which is the smallest, and the 01. Now, I have, they're, they're, the 005 is like the smallest the microns can get. Now, I have right here a Copic Multi-Liner, which is, uh, if you can, s hold on. Yeah, if you can see, this is like 0 0.03, you know, and this, this is the smallest it could get. And this is for like e even finer detail. But the uh, thing about this even finer detail thing is like when you scan it into your, yeah, when you scan this fine detail for 0, 0, 0 0.03, when you scan this in, it it comes out, the line work comes out gray because I, I don't think it could scan something that's so little. Yeah, so the line work comes out gray. However, um, however, for like the rest of these, these can come out like black, you know, just, and, and you want to have your thing looking like Chris Black but yeah this is for like really fine details and I think that adds to the effect like if it's like gray and not stronger because that's that gives a feel that it's like far out and it's not really in fine fine detail so you can't really see like the Chris Black so I guess that's okay so yeah I use the uh, the 0 0.03 and this is I usually use this for the the backgrounds or zero ones or whatever but zero this there's people screaming but yeah and outside I'm not sure you, you can hear it but yeah I use the zero point zero three um, this right here okay this I this is like uh, this is this is supposed to be a, a click eraser I'm gonna refill this very soon Eraser is supposed to come out once you keep clicking and it, it extends. So I, I use this. I have this. Uh, I have a rectangular one just purely f to erase the fine details of my work. So like say if I was like doing like a, a, a really far away image of a person with a and you know when it, from a distance far away that means that the person has a really small head you know and you want to like erase like some things so instead of using something like like these two which are super big and this you can use like this the side of the uh, rectangular eraser to erase that small detail so you won't have to erase the uh, the other the other stuff that's next to it you don't have to erase the entire face by mistake so that's what I usually use and getting into erasers I have these two these two things I don't really like to use these much because they tend to smudge the paper a lot so I think using something like this this is like really cheap uh, you can find this at your local store so I think these have the best erasers out of these out of these two they look fancy but nah. I think these are the best erasers I, I, I use them a lot they don't really smudge the paper as you can see yeah I use them a lot yeah and uh, yeah, I don't really like use it for like the the pencil, but 
just the eraser. I, I think they're really good. And I use a uh, these curve linear rulers here. These are really good to like uh, um, color, not color, um, curve for, for you know curvy boats or you know curved buildings, you know. So or gon or gondolas or so. So yeah, that's what I use like these rulers for. And you know you don't have to you don't have to like use this, but oh, well, I mean it, it's good, it's good. But for for a beginner set, this is what I was using for for, for a start, you know. But yeah, if you want to like for like the much more intermediate, I guess you, you may want to like use this. I mean you can you can do this if you're a beginner as well. It doesn't matter. But yeah, you can buy you can buy this as well. Um, and now I want to get toward the topic of uh, hmm. yeah. And now I want to get to the topic of when I was first starting out. This book by Mark Mark Crilly really helped me out. It has like the the background work and the uh, the p character proportions I learned from this book and a, a lot of other things. You wanna you wanna I I branched out from it. To learn different things, you don't you don't want to make this book like the only thing that you want to that you want that you learn about manga. But this is really really good for beginners. I use I use this when I was starting out. I highly recommend it. Mark Krill is a good YouTuber, good YouTuber. Go check him out. So yeah, highly recommend this. Um, this oh, and then I use I use these uh, the 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 deleter. The leader A paper. I'll have a link to the description as to where you can get this. I I, I like this because the outer edges has like the grid lines. You can, and the grid lines are really useful to you know organizing where your panels go, organizing you know buildings, and so um, they don't really have have you, you can't really measure like diagonally, but. I mean, I guess that's something that's like internal or so, but you can't really measure diagonally, diagonally, like that. But you can measure like this or like that, and I, I, I do recommend it. It, it is helpful. Uh, now to the topic of G pens. To the topic of the G pens that I was going to use. This. It it, it takes some practice to to get used to. I'm I'm certainly not used to it. I'm not really that confident with it. Well, somewhat. I'm, I'm just not confident with it when I'm drawing the eyes because it's such small. It's something that's really, really, really small. So, or or the facial features, you know. So I, I usually use like zero one or or zero zero five. That's the only ones that I use. If I if I again if I had used zero point zero three, the eyes would come out gray or so if I scanned it. And I think this is really good to. For the effect if you're like doing backgrounds the gray thing in the back you know gray lines or so it, it, it's up to you though it's up to you and I know some some artists is you just use zero one and zero five zero five for the backgrounds so this is the uh, the G pen it's this highly popular this 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 is actually the G pen right here this nib right here this is just a G pen holder or so I'll have a link to it. This, uh, I know this brand starts with a T, but I forgot about it. I forgot the name. So the um, the G Pen they come in like uh, well, there, there's like a set of set of different like manga manga nibs. There's the Maro, the Sanji, and then there's this G Pen. The I know the Maro or the Sanji one does like shoujo or something. This is like really popular in shonen. So yeah. I, I for for the like the shonen art style. So I, I, I like I like the G Pen just for the shonen shonen art style here. And but you 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 don't have to like just just use the G Pen. You can use the Maro as well for like you know the fine finer details. You know the 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 Maro so, um Sojo Sojo, which is used by like a Maro nib, is like really really thin. You know, and you can use something thin as well for shonen if you want to. Like it's like. Or, or something in general it's just like it's just really thin and small it's it's used for fine details and so you know um so 
the it, it, these these are like sh they're sold separately you know this I think this cost me like eight dollars for this pack I thought this they, these came with like I thought the G pen came in like different lengths or so but it didn't really came with it they're all the same just ten of them so yeah I, th I thought these were gonna come with like Marvel Sanji's and G pen as well like but different length but nah it didn't do that and another thing when you're when you're first getting your your G pen most people like burn the nib or they use saliva on them yeah or they use saliva to uh, get rid of the wax because the wax could like stop the flow of the G pen so you may want to like use saliva your own saliva and then wash it down or you can just burn the, the nib with a lighter or so so yeah um uh, on the topic of these these things now I ordered this like a, a long 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 time ago didn't use it much but th this is like a really cheap black Hig Higgins magic if you don't want to get yourself like the uh, the um, the uh, the deleted black thing which was like I think six dollars this is like two dollars or so um, what I like uh, there's a there's a huge difference between this and there's a reason why I like to use the G pen sometimes over like the secure microns and this is purely for the fact that when you're erasing some of the uh, some of the line work may disappear like the ink work <coughs> the ink work may disappear a little bit you know and you want to have it as you know black and crisp as possible so this so this I mean I guess it's okay but when you're when you're racing you want to have when you're racing I mean when it, when it's scanning on the uh, on your uh, computer you may want to have it as black as crisp as possible so that's why I use the uh, the the leader six paper because I'm the, the leader the, the leader six ink because um they are like really uh, they're really thin and when you're like erasing they don't really uh, smudge a lot the, yeah it doesn't really smudge like the, the the line work just does not disappear it's like really strong when you're erasing so yeah that's one of the top things that I like about the the leader the leader ink paper and no, no the leader ink the, the leader ink um, and yeah that's pretty much what I use for to make the uh, to make my manga usually so yeah that'll be it and if you like this this something like stuff like this just leave, leave a like and subscribe for more and yeah peace out guys later